Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Project here on the channel, and this is episode 10. And today I'm just going to start off the episode by doing some mining. And I just wanted to show you before I started and just tell you what's up. I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead on the strip, probably go through at least three pickaxes. And then I'll cut back with you and we'll run back down the strip and I'll like show you any diamonds that we may get or stuff like that. But anyways, I'll see you then. Welcome back. Alright, some crazy things have happened actually. So if you go right on the other side of this block, I'll actually show you it. Well, I might show you it if I can get there even. Well, you can tell by all the zombies rolling through. I came up on something. And you'll see it once we get there. Yep, right there. So, as you can see, all my armor is kind of taking a beating. So, I want to go back and get some more tools and stuff. Probably make a new set of armor before I take that on. And right down here, you can see the diamonds. So, we're going to mine these up and... Right there, about four or five blocks down, you just see more of them, so it's crazy. Definitely it wasn't too shabby of a strip. We did come a long way, though. I will say that. Let's see if we can make up. Yep, we made the rest of the torches. Now we got the stack of diamonds in our inventory. So yeah, I was really trying to make a push for a level 30, which I actually... We're doing pretty good so far. So, and we're going to have to explore that cave, and I, uh, for some reason, I want to say it's a double spawner, but I'm guessing it's just a one. Because if we go back here, right here I have it marked off, so if I go up there, and I go up like a windy staircase like that, I'll run into him again. So, I guess that's about the same distance. So we found a zombie spawner. So that's crazy. We'll have to come back for that. We'll have to explore that cave and everything. Well, anyways, I guess I'm going to start the time lapse now. I'll go right to the end, actually. Just to show you exactly how long it is, because it was definitely a long strip. So, I'm going to cut here, and then I'll be back with you once we make it to the house. See you then. back at the house and so far this is what we got from mining and I did pick a pumpkin and melon before I came on to the episode so so far 12 diamonds 48 iron and 16 gold not too shabby anyways I guess I'm I'll breed the cows and pick some wheat and that stuff just do some easy chores around the house it's nice to have the farm going too. Oopsie. It's alright, I can just plant that again. Not a big deal. Don't need this seed though. Just toss that out. So yeah, so far it's been a good episode for sure. I'm really happy we got this farm done last episode. We got things rolling. This will be good. I don't know if I want to go back to that desert, because the skeleton farm would be really useful just because then arrows and bone meal for automated farms. Oh, there's a lot of good options for everything, that's for sure. Got the carrots. And it's good that we got everything, like the melons, carrots, potatoes, all that stuff, already. Because I know sometimes those can be a pain to get. We got the third cow all grown up now. So we'll just breed two of these. And then pop out another one. We'll have four going. That's good to see. 
the uh -huh. chicken. How you doing down there? We'll give it a seed anyway. Uh -huh. oh, all right. Fair enough. Uh -huh. I give you seed. You give me egg. I can live with that chicken. Good stuff right there. I guess we'll toss this egg in and see if we can happen to get a chicken. Oh, we did. We just gotta push him in the hole. Come on. There we go. Alright, we'll lock those two up. And now we can actually breed them too. That's good. Leave the farm and stuff in there. Oh. What's up next? Not much. I gotta finish up that wall. That's ugly. Well, anyways, I guess I'm gonna cut for now. Fix up this wall, get everything looking good. And do that type of stuff. And I'll be back with you. See you then. Alrighty, guys. We're back in the cave. And actually, we're gonna go take down that zombie spawner. If it's the last thing I do. <laughs> so I know it's right up here. And hopefully everything's despawned as of right now. So we can at least get up in here. Probably throw down a torch or two. I see that zombie and the spider's actually being a good block. There we go. Take care of the spider. It must be day up top. Alright, we got this held down now. That's good. Ooh, yes. Diamond horse armor and a name tag. So that's good. Another saddle. Can't go wrong with that. Got a music disc. Fuck, it's okay. Just some redstone. Ooh, more horse armor. That's always good. Another name tag. Can always use more name tags. And a saddle. Pretty good. And looks like I made new armor for pretty much nothing. Yeah, if you see right here, I was digging all around to try and find this zombie spawner. Because I could hear him in my strip, but just couldn't find it. So, that's that, I guess. I guess we'll go up this way and just check out what's going on over here. Look, there's a creeper, so it's got to be a cool place. There we go. There we go. I think I got this creeper. Yep. Sometimes you can play cre creepers right, and it'll make it pretty easy to kill them. Golly, this cave really opens up. I'm actually going to throw on my other armor now. Once it breaks, I can switch it. Won't be a big deal. I'm just gonna go down. No need for going up. Try not to get lost in this place either. Cause that can definitely happen. Yep, that's zombie spawner though. That was a really good find too. It's just whether I want to do the zombie or the uh, skeletons for my spawner. I guess I could do both, but that's just a pain, I guess. Uh, I have to look how far the uh, spawner actually is. Here's a zombie, but it could be from anywhere. This pick's about to break. And then we'll probably head back to the strip. Get the coordinates of that zombie spawner before I forget where it is and stuff. It's not too far off the actual strip mine though. So I feel pretty good about that. Yeah. And I got just really lucky because I could just hear the zombies. This must have connected all the way back. so weird that grass will randomly spawn. I guess we got a little ravine here. That's cool. Oh, 
the armor still on. Well, I guess we'll just cut again, and I'll be back with you once we get to the top, and we'll figure out what we're doing from there. See you then. We are at the zombie spawner currently, so here are the coordinates for that. I don't know if you guys want it or anything. If you're doing the seed, but anyways, so that's it. And I actually did a little, just like, cave mining up there. And I actually ran into a few patches of diorite, so I grabbed a few. So like, two stacks and a half. Not too bad. And I actually ran into a go golden zombie, and he dropped this helmet and the chest plate. So, now I guess I'm going to run down the strip. I will meet you on top, and we'll go through what we collected. See you then. So, here's what we got. Not too bad. I'll let you guys just look. I'd say it's a pretty successful mining trip. So I, right now we're actually going to make the enchantment table and that stuff in bookshelves. I want to say bookshelves. Yep, they're right here. Alright. So I'm pretty sure we need 15 of these. We got a trophy there. Librarian. There we go. Yeah, I want to say it's 15. I'll have to double check on that. But I think I'm going to do something with uh, diorite and like smoothing it out and that stuff. For like the floor out in the area up there. So I'm going to grab that. We'll see what we can do with it. I don't know if I want to polish it. I want to like want something cool. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Some polished diorite. Probably make a stack of that. Right there. So many blocks that they added to. Since I've played, that's for sure. Granite and the site. Okay. So I think we're good there. Actually, I'm going to throw everything in so it smelts right now. Alright, I guess the coal's just in the bottom one. And hopefully that'll push us towards 30. I don't know if it'll make us hit 30. But we should be a good chunk of the way there. And then we can start enchanting stuff. So I guess now we need the actual enchantment table. I, I actually, I don't even know how many diamonds. It should be, I think it's five obsidian. Maybe red some? It's been a while since I've played. Ooh, and a book, alright. It's actually four obsidian, two diamonds and a book. Make one of those. It's good. Got another trophy enchanter. It's good. Right in there. We actually had way more paper than we needed in books, but there'll be a day that we need it for something else too, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's throw some of that stuff away. Here we go. Alright, I guess I'm going to set up up top, and then I'll be back with you once that's ready to go. Alright, well, I started on the enchantment table area. This is what I got so far. I want to change this to another brick uh, stairs once I get there, but obviously I don't have that because we haven't went to the nether yet, but we'll get there for sure. And like in here, this area, I'd like to do some like glowstone stuff. I think that'd look cool. But anyways, that's going to be kind of what this whole like inner part's going to be. Like, we'll have another portal probably here or somewhere over there. Anything like that. Maybe just, like, a chest area, furnace area, anything like that. And that'll be, like, the inners of this wall and stuff. I think it'll come together nicely. And we'll try and switch it off every time and do, like, different colors and stuff. Like, I kind of like this polished diorite. It's a good look. Maybe I'll switch it to quartz, though. I think that would look really cool. So yeah, cool things to come. I'm actually going to check if everything's smelted. 
So we're actually at level 28. I'd like to get to 30 so we can enchant some stuff. Alright. Everything enchanted. We'll see what we get to. Probably middle of 28. Oof. Alright. We got past that, but we didn't quite make it uh, anywhere higher. I guess I'm just going to end the episode with grabbing some wheat and stuff and giving it to the cows. And probably killing that pig, wherever it is. There it is. I'm sorry, pig. Oh, no, you're not getting away. There we go. We got some more pork chops now. I kind of want to get a wolf, too, now that I'm getting settled in. Grab out. There we go. Actually, looks like night setting in. Probably won't grab the potatoes and carrots right now, just because I don't need them. And we'll set up a better farm a little later into the series. Alright, let's go breed these animals. Probably pick up the eggs or whatever's in the chicken coop. That's just like chicken cruelty in there. I'm actually just going to throw the pumpkin and stuff in there. There you go. They get breeded then. Come on, get eggs. Gonna try and close it off before they get out. Ooh, I can actually breed the chickens. Didn't really think about that. I'm actually gonna set a torch too. Should probably torch up this whole area to be quite honest. But yeah, we'll grab out these seeds and then I should be able to breed if I can touch them, yep. Those guys together. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna head inside and the episode in there. Well, thank you for watching. I actually hit twenty nine there too. That's good. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.